Hi guys, welcome back to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals and I want to show you some science behind some magic. So I've got three cups set up here and I've got some water. Now this is regular old water. Mm. Pour it into one of the cups and I'm going to move them around and you sitting at home watch. See if you can keep track of the one that has the water inside. You ready? We'll go ahead and add some water to this. Again, regular old water. You can see it's going in. The camera's not going to cut away. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to move them around. Pay attention. There we go. Now, I am not a magician, obviously. I am a science teacher. So, there was no sleight of hand there. You probably still have a really good idea of where you think the water is and if I had to venture to guess I would say that you're pointing at this one am I right well this should be it so here's the water now wait a minute wait a minute maybe it was this one no this one no <laughs> I told you it's not magic, it's science. So there's the three cups we just used, right here, okay? Now let's see if you can pay attention. Here we go. Gotta make good observations in science. I've got water, I'm promising you. It's real water, otherwise I wouldn't drink it. I'm gonna dump some in. About that much sounds good to me. Now keep track, the water's in here. Here we go. enough times well I'm just gonna go right through them hopefully you have an idea you're picking out which one of these you think the water is in but I'm just gonna go ahead and dump them all out you ready if you chose this one you were wrong. If you chose this one you were wrong if you chose this one hmm again this isn't magic this is science so there's something going on that's tricking you Okay, so what's going on here? Well, let's look at this. Before I came up here, I of course cheated a little bit. I am not a magician. I am a scientist. So in one of them, in one of the cups, I had put this chemical. This chemical is called sodium polyacrylate. Good luck saying that. Sodium polyacrylate. Now, sodium polyacrylate is a polymer. I put some in one of those, and then I took really regular old water, dumped it in the one that had sodium polyacrylate. Now look at this. Look at the water. It's in there. We shuffled it around. And there it is. But here's the thing. Obviously those are empty. Look at this. That sodium polyacrylate that's in the bottom, it soaked up the water. This is the cup that it was in before. It's still in there just in the bottom. This is the cup that it was in the second time. It's still in there. So the sodium polyacrylate soaked it up. But really, what is sodium polyacrylate and what are the uses besides doing something like this? Well, diapers, of course. So diapers obviously soak up the baby's potty. And how do they do that? Well, they're filled with sodium polyacrylate. So the polymer soaks up the potty and doesn't let it come back out of the diaper. And really it doesn't require a whole lot of sodium polyacrylate inside the diaper because it's really a magical polymer. It can hold an exceptional amount of water because of its configuration and the way it's made. In fact it can hold upwards of 300 times its own mass in water. That's phenomenal. And look. It just soaks it up and soaks it up and it doesn't let it come back out because of the hydrogen bonds that are holding it inside. Now on a microscopic level, what would this look like? The best way to represent it is with ramen noodles. And the reason is, if you look at the ramen, it's got this interwoven pattern. So just like when we set ramen in water on the stovetop, 
it starts to soak it up, not only in the ramen, but also in the gaps between it as well. And look how much the ramen has expanded. It soaked up the water. So is this science or is it magic? Well, it's science, of course. So there you go. If you've ever wondered how to make water disappear, at least the scientific way, now you know. And if you've ever wondered how diapers work, well, now you know as well. And again, it's not magic. It's science.